Welcome back to This War of Mine. It is day 37. Let's see what needs to be done. Okay, looks like we just looks like we just caught some meat in this trap and also some more meat in this one. Amelia needs to go to sleep. She was the one who was up guarding. Go have a nap. Katya's doing pretty well. Okay, uh, it's a little bit cold. Let me put one more uh, log on the fire. You should go to sleep too. Do I have any fuel? Yeah, I've got one piece of fuel. Okay. There we go. Should be nice and warm. Do I need to make water? Oh, I've actually... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't finish these, did I? I didn't finish these. Yes. So let's finish these. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So the hourglass symbol means that it is going, and I just need to wait. Just want to quadruple check that. Okay. So that's all good. We should have plenty of water once that is done. Yeah, so once both of those finish, then I'm going to go ahead and make four things of food, so everybody should be, able to, should be able to eat once. So everybody should be good on food once that's done. I think, is Bruno still wounded? Yeah, slightly wounded. Other than that, though, we're doing fine. I mean, the tiredness is going to go away once they're done sleeping. The hunger is going to go away once we eat, which we will do by the end of the day. And the traitor's here. Hello. How you doing, Franco? Okay, components. I really need components. Like, super, super bad. We've got four rounds. It's not too bad, although I could I could easily exhaust all of those in just one night defending myself. Okay, what do I have to give away? See, medicine is worth a lot, right? Exactly what I need, I can give you a lot for this. Okay, so if I can... I mean, I have six med ingredients. I don't know what it takes to turn meds into actual medicine, but... If I can turn six med ingredients into medicine, I can get so much stuff for that. It'd probably take a lot of components and stuff to make that, though. Because, I mean, hold on. Let's, well... Let's do a little bit of trading first. Okay, so I want all of his components. So what can I give up that I don't mind giving up for that? Um, I don't think I need two bandages. But let's see if there's something less valuable. Oh yeah, I still have my two guitars and my two um, damaged helmets. Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving away those. Not even close. Okay. Um, well, I don't need a third damaged pistol. Yeah, <laughs> I'm totally willing to give that stuff away. Absolutely. Let's see if I can get more stuff. Okay, I can get some more. Well, if I buy a filter, it's basically like buying components, because I'm going to use the components to make a filter. So... Oh. Alrighty then. Maybe not. What about a round? Okay. Well, I'm going to use fuel. What about fuel? One fuel. What about wood? Okay, well, might as well just get one piece of wood, because I can always turn the wood into fuel, but I can't turn fuel into wood. I can even get a little bit of water. That is totally worth it, because I don't need any of this stuff. It's completely useless to me. Okay, let's see where that puts us. So, do I now have the stuff to upgrade my workstation? Uh, 
Oh, fuck you. Fuck you! I need one more component. Ah. Oh. Balls. Big, hairy balls. I think I'd also need another electric part because I think it takes... I think, yeah, it takes four more to make the mixer. I think it just takes four electric parts to make the mixer, right? Yeah. So I need one electric part and one component. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I could have even repaired the guitar, but... That itself takes up some components, and it wouldn't have allowed me to buy more components because I just bought every single component he had. I mean, same with the weapon. I could have fixed it up, but that would have taken weapon parts. I'd rather keep those. Okay, so do I want to make the stuff to make medicine? To do that, I would need to make an herbal workshop and then... Upgrade it. I can actually make bandages. Yeah, so I don't need to upgrade it to make bandages. I only need to upgrade it to make real meds and good quality cigarettes. Could that be worth it? Maybe. It depends how much the upgrade costs. It's probably quite a bit. I mean, it took a lot to upgrade the freaking garden. Jesus, that took a lot. What do bandages take? What would bandages take? There's no cloth item. So what do they take? I don't know. Could I, I mean, could I even make any? If I could make medicine, I could trade for everything I could possibly need. I don't know. On the other hand, I could just coast out on what I currently have on, with all of my components. Although the thing is, I don't think how much food I'm making is quite enough. It's close. But I don't think I make quite enough food to sustain everybody indefinitely. Because it takes three days to make food. Uh, to make vegetables. And I use up two vegetables to make four food. So in other words, it takes two vegetables to make enough food to feed everybody once for one day. So it takes three days to make enough vegetables to feed everybody for two days. That doesn't quite work out, unless I get more raw food than vegetables, which I think I do. But I don't know if that's enough to make up for it. Which means I'm not exactly secure. Not to mention if I run out of components to make filters, I can't make water, which means I can't make food. So those are kind of my two limits. I don't think I make quite enough food, and I don't have an unlimited source of components. If I can make... Uh, I'm going to make the workshop. But then I can... Uh, but I can trade for rounds. I can just trade for rounds. So... I just realized I didn't put anything in the traps to catch more food. Do I still have fertilizer? Yeah, I do. Let's hope this was the right call. Let's see what it takes to upgrade it. Okay, that's actually not too bad. It takes more wood. Yeah, so it takes more wood than components, which is good, because I don't have many components, but wood is pretty damn easy to get. And then it also takes the mixer, so I am going to need one more electric part. And some wood. And some more components, but not too many more. Okay, so what does it take to make bandages? I can make some cigarettes. No! Holy shit! 
No wonder they're worth so much. It takes four herbs, pure alcohol, and five components to make one bandage. Jesus. God damn. Hopefully it doesn't require pure alcohol to make medicine. Because if it does, then I'm going to have to make a freaking moonshine, uh, moonshine thing and then also a alcohol purifier thing. And there's no way I'll have enough for that. This may have been a terrible idea. Maybe. I don't mind trading the bandage that I currently have, though. Because I've got two of them, and Bruno is the only one who's wounded, and he's only slightly wounded. Uh, wounded. So we can just sleep it off. Uh, do you have any electric parts? You don't. He doesn't really have enough stuff to justify buying things. I mean, I want those. Okay, I, I guess I'll take the wood too. But that's not nearly enough to make up for the bandage. Oh, never mind. Really? He even says I'll give you a lot for this. Guess it's not really worth that much. There we go. That's perfect. And I'm perfectly comfortable doing that because it probably takes one gunpowder plus one shell casing to make a round. So if I have more gunpowder than shell casings, it doesn't really help anything because I can't make more rounds. Obviously, I can only make as many rounds as I have shell casings. Yeah, okay. Okay, that actually almost gives me enough stuff to upgrade this. Just need to, I just need five more components and one more electric part. Let's check the radio. Oh, the water's done too. Okay, I need to do that. Need to make some food. Quite cool. Get some food going. Should probably get some more water going. Before that, though, let's see how much this is going to take. Alright, so it's going to leave us with four water. Um... There's no need to make more water right now, I suppose. Okay, I think we're done with this guy, so let me just uh, let him go. I feel bad for him. Everybody's doing really, really well. Temperature's good, food's good. Slight wound, and that's it. Okay, I need to ask before I do anything else. 
Do I want to make a saw? Do I have a saw? I might already have an extra saw. No, I don't. Where am I going? Is there anywhere I need to go that needs a saw? Again, it's components that I need. And I don't know of anywhere that has components that isn't extremely, extremely dangerous. I mean, the last place I went to was the... What the hell was the place? The warehouse or something? Yeah, it was the warehouse. That place was fucking terrifying. I'm not going back there. Hell no. I don't think I need to make one. So, I could go back to Sniper Junction and just pick up some wood and all of the odds and ends that I have there. But obviously that doesn't give me any components. Alright, Bruno, you need to sleep. Pavel, you can scavenge, and... Um, I guess I'll have two guards. Yeah, might as well have two guards. No one's tired, so no big deal. Alright, where the hell am I going? Lots of weapons. Huh? That doesn't seem likely. I actually got 43% of the stuff in the warehouse. I could go back to the brothel, but I explored that decently, and that was really dangerous as well. I wish a new place would pop up. There's actually only two, uh, three places I have not been to. And all of those places just involve stealing. Yep. The thing I'm wondering though is, can I go to these places and... Is it kind of like the places where you go to trade, where there's often a place before the place? That you can just take stuff from and it's no big deal? Kind of like a, a free handout, like, okay, we know it might be too dangerous to go in, but at least you won't come away empty-handed. Is there that sort of a thing? I have no idea. But I'm, I'm seriously running out of options. I'm thinking it might be too late in the game for me to even start worrying about upgrading my stuff. Like, maybe I shouldn't have built that. I don't know if it matters. Maybe I should just try to coast on what I have. I don't know. So yeah, construction site for some odds and ends, or Sniper Junction for some odds and ends mostly consisting of wood. I don't really need wood. Or super dangerous. Yeah, let's just pick up the odds and ends at Sniper Junction. Don't need to bring anything. Okay, I think most of the wood is right here, or the one over. Yeah. Yep, that's most of it. That actually might be all of it. Let's do a quick check here. There's a little bit here. Probably just more wood. Oh no, a couple other things. 
quality roll up. I'll take that back for Bruno. That's the bad kind of roll up. Here's the one electric part that I need. Uh, that's more important than wood. There's still more wood left. There's no getting up there, right? I think I've already established that, but I can't remember. Just to be sure. No. Okay, yeah, the only thing left here are just a couple... ...cigarettes and some wood. This place is, I believe, literally 99% cleared out. It's funny that one of the safest places I can visit is somewhere where somebody is trying to snipe snipe my head off. Hmm. Jesus, we just used up like all of our ammunition. We've got one round left. Ugh. And I'm certainly not making any rounds. Now that I just spent a bunch of my components on this thing. Alright, well, let's get you two to bed. Bruno? Oh, thank god Bruno's finally not wounded anymore. Wait your turn, Pavel. Got so much food, actually. Just need more vegetables. Yeah, might as well use one of the vegetable or <laughs> one of the vegetables, one of the raw food to uh, seed it. Suppose I should actually cook some of the food, some of the raw food, because once again I'm kind of getting a surplus of that compared to vegetables. Only takes two water, nice. In fact, let's just make some more fuel. Got so much wood that it's not even close to a problem. Let's go throw another log in the fire. A little bit chilly. Let's get some more water going. Hello there. Somebody needs help. Hold on a second.
What do you need help with? Can you help me board up my windows? I live nearby with my daughter. I've heard rumors of looters pillaging houses and raping women. I can lock the doors, but they could get inside through the windows. Can you help me board them up? My husband was taken by the rebels in the first year of the war and hasn't returned yet. We're all alone. Please help us. Um. Okay. Uh, who do I send, though? Yeah, I guess I could send Amelia. That's fine. I mean, I definitely want Bruno here to cook, and I definitely want Pavel to scavenge. And I guess I want Katya just for trading, so yeah, I guess I'll send Amelia. Please don't get killed out there. Ooh, and Katya is content. I'm glad we decided to help our neighbor in need. Supporting each other is important. <laughs> this is right after. It was very ungrateful of us not to repay our neighbors for their kindness. I know, I know. I'm not happy Amelia went to spend the night at our neighbor's house. We need everyone to guard the shelter and scavenge. Our neighbor was right to ask for our help. We will make her house even more secure. Okay, well, most people are happy about the decision. Yeah, Katya's definitely hopeful. She just said we're gonna make it. Indeed we are. It's day 38, we've got a pretty good amount of food. We're doing good. All things considered. That's really all there is to do. Well, I could get even more water going. The vegetables will be done tomorrow. How much do we need? How much water do we need for the vegetables? The thing is that when the vegetables are done, I'm going to need to make more vegetables. So yeah, actually, let's get more water going. Yeah, I'm going to want ten water in surplus to start the garden again. So that leaves us with 8 water, we're going to have 16 tomorrow. Yeah, it should be enough to spend 10 to get the garden going again, and we'll have 6 left over to make food. Is 6 enough? That takes 4. 6 is not enough, so I'll need a little bit more. Let's just preemptively make the filter. Okay, where the hell am I going tonight? I could go to the construction site, pick up odds and ends again. I guess. Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, I could take the raw meds and go trade for some more rounds. It's not a bad idea. I only have one round left. And... Well, let's get two guards. Yeah. Do I want to go trade? I guess? There's really no other way I'm going to make any rounds. But if I go trade my raw meds, then I'm basically throwing away the idea of even making the meds to make more money, which means I've thrown away 
well, money, to, to trade for more stuff. Which means I'm throwing away the fact that I just built that thing. Although I could still make bandages, but do I care? Not really. Because that takes pure alcohol. I don't know. I have no idea. I kind of think it might be better it might be better just to spend what stuff I do have on just trading for more components and the stuff I need to live. I don't think I have time to build up a thing to trade for better stuff. Cuz I'm pretty sure the game's going to end pretty soon. I don't think it lasts that much longer. I think it's it's typically like somewhere in the 40-day region where the game typically ends. I think it is kind of random exactly when it ends, so there's no set specific date. But, uh, pretty sure it is going to end. I don't want to needlessly risk our lives if we don't need to do that, so I don't want to go to a dangerous place. So it's either go to, like, the construction site and pick up loose ends, or go trade. And there's no reason I have to trade right now, so let's just go to the construction site. I could take the hatchet to get some more wood. I mean, I could just keep trading wood. Or is there going to be enough stuff for me to pick up? There's probably going to be enough stuff for me to pick up. Yeah, there must be. It's 80-something percent. And there could be people here, so I need to be careful. Will, would you look at that? Pretty much already full. ran all the way over there just to say that. Okay. I've been to this place like five times and I still don't know how to navigate it. I think you just pretty much keep going up. Until you reach... Uh, here, I guess? Jeez, I left a lot of stuff behind. Most of it useless, unfortunately. I definitely don't need wood. So I'm going to dump any wood that I find in favor of anything else, pretty much. What did I leave here? Weapon parts? <laughs> wood. Yay! Oh, I left this behind. All right, forget this wood. Some decent trading items. Let's go ahead and check the top.
Okay, that's actually a really good haul. Mostly for trading. I don't really need any of this stuff on my own, but I could trade this pretty well. Okay, so the only thing left behind, I believe, is literally just wood. I think I took every single other thing. So there's enough stuff left here for one more run of wood, I think. But it's getting to the point where I'm going to have to pretty much just stay home and wait. That or go trading. But, but yeah, I think I should definitely go trading because I have a lot of stuff that I just can't really use. Broken pistol, broken helmet, bunch of uh, cartridges and black powder, or gunpowder, I mean. Please tell me we weren't raided. Please don't be raided. I only had one round. Okay. Amelia helped our neighbor board her upper house and returned safely. Okay. Everything is good. And we have some more food in the trap. Vegetables are about to be done. Everybody's safe. Nobody's sick. Okay, this is going really well, actually. Alright, so I think I'll end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.